Diving into the cinematic realm of 1947, Kiss of Death emerges as a gripping tale in the film noir genre, painting a narrative of crime, betrayal, and the intricate dance between law and lawlessness. Directed by Henry Hathaway, this film stands as a cornerstone in the era's cinematic landscape, etching itself into the annals of classic noir. The movie's focal point orbits around Nick Bianco, a convict turned informant, portrayed with compelling depth by Victor Mature. His magnetic performance draws audiences into the gritty underworld, navigating the moral ambiguity of his character's choices in the face of escalating tension. Yet, it's Richard Widmark's portrayal of Tommy Udo that etches an indelible mark of performance that echoes the chilling essence of noir villains through the ages. Intrigue, suspense, and a pulse-quickening storyline underscore the film, leaving an indelible impression on viewers. The tension-laden scenes and stark cinematography capture the essence of the era, weaving a tale that lingers long after the credits roll. Reflecting on this cinematic gem might raise queries about standout roles or personal impact. Which character resonated most with you? Did the film leave an imprint on your life, sparking a newfound perspective or inspiration? Share your treasured memories or experiences linked to this timeless classic. We're eager to hear your tales and reflections in the comments below. In the 1947 movie Kiss of Death, there's an interesting backstory involving director Henry Hathaway and actor Richard Widmark. Hathaway initially opposed Widmark's casting as the villain and tried to make filming uncomfortable for him. Widmark almost quit but decided to stay, leading to a newfound respect between them. Surprisingly, they went on to collaborate on five more movies, and Widmark even served as a pal bearer at Hathaway's funeral. This unexpected turn of events behind the scenes adds a unique layer to the film's history and the relationship between director and actor. Based on a story by Elizar Lipsky, Kiss of Death became a pivotal vehicle for Victor Mature, a role initially intended for James Cagney. The film's narrative, rooted in Lipsky's experience as a former Manhattan assistant district attorney, underwent a significant transformation upon its acquisition by 20th Century Fox in November 1946. This alteration set the stage for Mature's portrayal of Nick Bianco, a character that defined the movie's trajectory. Interestingly, within the film, Richard Widmark delivered an acclaimed performance, earning his sole Oscar nomination. This blend of casting choices and compelling performances helped shape the film's lasting impact, making Kiss of Death an essential piece of cinematic history. The Checker Model A, beyond its scarcity, became more than just a mere mode of transportation in the movie. Its very presence seemed to narrate the untold stories of resilience and adaptation during those tumultuous times. The worn-out seats and the faded paint echoed the tales of countless passengers it might have ferried, each carrying their hopes, fears, and dreams amidst the backdrop of post-war uncertainty. Thomas' ride in this iconic taxi wasn't merely a means to reach Rizzo's apartment. It was a journey through history, an embodiment of endurance, and a symbol of a bygone era's perseverance. The car's engine hummed with a nostalgic melody, as if whispering the forgotten melodies of an era struggling to rebuild itself. Its chrome details, though weathered, glistened in the dimly lit streets, reminiscent of a time when elegance mingled with the hardships of reality. The Checker model is stood as a silent witness to the changing tides of society, a relic from a chapter now etched in the annals of history. And as the film unfolds, this unique choice of transportation continues to weave itself into the storyline, leaving an indelible mark on the audience a testament to the resilience of an era long gone, but never forgotten. The movie Kiss of Death from 1947 holds a notorious scene where Tommy Udo, played by Richard Widmark, grinning maniacally, shoves Mrs. Rizzo down the stairs in her wheelchair. Its shocking nature led the British censor to demand its removal for the UK release. However, viewers were surprised when it aired in its entirety on a BBC Two tribute show in 1974, part of a history of 20th Century Fox. This scene, though controversial, became a defining moment in the film's history, showcasing Widmark's compelling and chilling portrayal of a villainous character. The impact of this portrayal extended beyond the screen. Notably, New York mobster Joe Gallo, known as Crazy Joe, drew inspiration from Tommy Udo. Gallo adopted Udo's style, wearing black shirts with white ties, and emulated his crazed demeanor. 
This emulation contributed to the creation of Gallo's infamous persona, Crazy Joe, a persona he carried until his murder in 1972. The influence of Widmark's character transcended the movie, leaving a lasting imprint on real-life personalities. Additionally, there were significant alterations made to the original film due to censorship concerns. Patricia Morrison's role as Victor Mature's wife, including scenes depicting her attack and subsequent suicide, was entirely removed from the film at the insistence of the censors. Despite her absence in the movie, references to her character's tragic fate remain shaping the narrative and impacting Mature's character development. These controversial and impactful elements within Kiss of Death illustrate its lasting effect on audiences, both in its narrative and its influence on real-world personas. The film's legacy continues to be shaped by its daring scenes and the profound impact of its characters. Bosley Crowther of the New York Times praised Richard Widmark's performance in the 1947 film Kiss of Death describing it as possessing perfect timing and tension. Crowther vividly compared the timbre of Widmark's voice to that of filthy water going down a sewer. This critical acclaim underscored Widmark's portrayal of the character Tommy Udo, a chilling and compelling rendition that left a lasting impact on the film. Widmark's ability to embody Udo with such tension and precise timing resonated with audiences and critics alike, solidifying his portrayal as a defining element of the movie's legacy. This recognition of Widmark's performance highlights the significant contribution of his character to the overall narrative and enduring influence on the cinematic landscape of the time. The 1947 movie Kiss of Death marked the film debut of Richard Widmark. His portrayal of Tommy Udo, the chilling antagonist, garnered significant attention and acclaim. Widmark's performance as the menacing and unpredictable Udo showcased his talent, earning him widespread recognition. His compelling portrayal set a benchmark for his future roles and left an enduring impact on the movie's legacy. Widmark's entry into Hollywood through this film solidified his position as a versatile and formidable actor, laying the foundation for a successful career. Victor Mature's role in the movie is often cited as one of his best performances. As Nick Bianco, Mature delivered a powerful portrayal that resonated with audiences. His depiction of a man caught in the complexities of life and the moral dilemmas he faces added depth to the storyline. Mature's nuanced performance contributed significantly to the movie's success, showcasing his range as an actor and leaving an indelible mark on the film's narrative. The respective performances of Widmark and Mature in Kiss of Death define the movie's impact, showcasing the talent and depth of these actors. Their contributions elevated the film, solidifying its place in cinematic history. As we draw the curtains on our cinematic journey, let's linger a moment longer in the captivating world of the 1947 film, Kiss of Death. Its timeless tale beckons us to explore the depths of human nature, weaving a narrative that resonates with courage, betrayal, and the intricate dance between justice and the shadows. Perhaps you found solace in the nuanced performances, or maybe the gripping suspense left you on the edge of your seat. Was it the raw emotions or the unforgettable characters that etched themselves into the corridors of your memory? Reflect on the moments that stirred your emotions, the scenes that ignited your imagination, and the echoes of this classic that linger in your thoughts. Share the whispers of nostalgia or the fervor of admiration for this cinematic gem that continues to spark conversations across generations. Your unique connection and cherished memories add to the tapestry of experiences woven by enthusiasts of this cinematic masterpiece. Your voice, your thoughts let them join this symphony of appreciation. Thank you for indulging in this reflective journey through Kiss of Death. Your time and passion for this timeless creation are truly appreciated.